The last Passover meal shows a lesson in the mindset of the Messiah Jesus, who saw his mission as fulfilled before he even finished it. It was as good as done, or as we would say today, you can bet the house on it. In Matthew 26, verse 28, Jesus said, For this is my blood of the covenant, which is being poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. Here, Jesus uses the not-so-popular present tense of prophecy as opposed to the more popular past tense of prophecy. This type of language is used to describe future events that are so certain to the speaker that they are spoken of as either a past event or, in this case, a present event as if they had already happened or, in this case, are happening. In the New Testament, Jesus oftentimes uses this type of language, which can appear in all three major tenses of prophecy, past, present, and future. For example, when he says in John 5, verse 24, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. We clearly see the three tenses of prophecy. We have eternal life of that kingdom age to come. We will not be judged in that future that is coming. And we have already crossed from death to that life of the age to come. This is typical Old Testament prophetic way of speaking, which is featured in the so-called suffering servant prophecies of Isaiah about the future Messiah. Isaiah 40 verse 3, a voice is calling a present tense future for John the Baptist, according to Mark chapter 1. Isaiah 53 verse 2 says that the suffering servant has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him. And Isaiah 53 verse 5, by his wounds we are healed. All present tense used for a future person, that is, the Messiah Jesus. These prophecies also show the mindset the servant of God was to have. Isaiah 50 verse 7, because the Lord God helps me, I will not be dismayed. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, that is, like a piece of rock, to do his will, and I know that I will triumph. So the lesson is clear. Self-professing Christians, followers of Jesus as the Messiah, must adopt and indeed create a like-minded mindset and see the great prophecies about the coming kingdom of God with Jesus as the ruling king, that is Messiah, as so certain that it can be spoken as a past and even indeed a present event with an obvious future meaning.